this is Paul with PicoPros.com and today we have a really cool product that we can't show you. That's right, we cannot show you. This is exclusive. Uh, we can't show you the device. We can't tell you too much about it other than it has a DLP based engine and that it runs QuickLogic's Visual Enhancement Engine or V technology. A uh, couple more details I can tell you is that it runs a WVGA DLP engine, so it's 854 by 480, which uh, a number of the DLP-based Pico projectors run, so you get an idea of that. And the other thing I could tell you is that it runs up to 50 ANSI lumens of output. Now this is a device that would be, uh, again, this is a prototype, but... Uh, as a manufactured product, it would likely be both a battery-operated unit as well as a plug-in unit. So uh, what I can show you today is that uh, I can show you anywhere between 30 and 50 ANSI lumens, depending on the setting, as well as different levels of V that is applied to the image to improve the contrast and readability of the projected image. Now, what I'm going to do is show you, again, three increments of brightness, so 30, 40, and 50 ANSI lumens, as well as different levels of V, so 0 uh, through 100% of V being added to the, in, uh, to the image to improve the color contrast, readability, and the overall picture. Now, here we have a nice sunset uh, photograph of some mountains with the sun behind them with some clouds and whatnot. A little bit hard to see. I have it on the uh, lowest lumen setting, so about 30 ANSI lumens. So what I will do is add V to the image to give you an idea what it looks like. There you go, there's the first increment of V, and if you caught that, the trees in the foreground get a little bit more, uh, you can see the colors a little bit more, a little bit more green, a little bit more detail there. And as I add more V, uh, we can actually gain some additional contrast on the image. Let me add some more V here. So the, again, this is the lowest lumen setting, but in the darker areas of the image, I could definitely see improved uh, readability or contrast of the trees. You actually see some improved detail. You can see the leaves and the branches, this kind of thing. So pretty neat stuff. What I'm going to do now is actually increase the brightness of the projector. First I'm going to turn V all the way down. And if you see that the readability or the contrast of those branches does fall as I do that. Now I'm going to turn it up all the way. So we're from 30 to 50 ANSI lumens. And what I'll do is add V to the image. So you can see the overall image is brighter. So you see the sun and that kind of thing in the brighter areas definitely improves. But what I'm going to do is actually add V to the image. Even in a brightest setting, you'll see a difference in the readability of the lower brightness areas of the image or the darker areas of the image. So let me turn V up. All right, so hopefully you just caught that as soon as I hit that. The trees again around the river in the middle of the image do improve. I'm going to turn it up again, turn it all the way up. And so uh, hopefully it comes across on camera. Uh, but in person, I can tell you even, you know, whether it's a low lumen mode or high lumen mode, V definitely makes a significant difference in the image here. Again, this is the technology from Quick Logic that we've been talking about for quite a while. So what I'm going to do is actually turn the projector brightness and uh, V all the way down. We're going to find another image to look at. Now again, uh, the V technology is uh, mainly aimed at battery powered Pico projectors, although uh, theoretically it can be used on any projector or any projection technology to improve that contrast and readability. Uh, so I just I definitely want to make sure that it's known that the technology can work on any type of projector. Right now they're aiming it at the uh, Pico projectors as it is a fundamental need of Pico projectors to get a bright readable image uh, from low battery powered units. Uh, so here we have another image that is basically a stone wall 
um, with some trees in the background, a couple hills, mountains, whatever you want to call it. Again, lowest lumen mode of about 30 anti-lumens with V turned all the way off. And it's a pretty nice image overall. A little bit dim or uh, uh, the brightness is okay or the readability. So what I'm going to do is actually turn V up for everyone. Let's see how that improves this image. Now again, pay attention to the darker areas of the image, the tree on the right, the wall in the foreground, that kind of thing. Now, Right now I'm going to turn V up just by a little bit. And you can see the wall, the grass, that kind of thing, the greens jump out a little bit better. Let me turn it up a little bit more. And all the more those greens and details become more uh, prevalent or more readable. And again, if we turn V all the way up, uh, definitely improves the readability and view viewability of this image. So let me turn it all the way down again so you get an idea. Again, the grass becomes less vibrant. The wall, the details, you lose some of that. Definitely in person. Hopefully it comes across on the video. Now I'm going to turn the uh, brightness of the image all the way up. You can see you get a nice bright image from this device that I can't tell you what it is. Uh, but uh, uh, it's a very nice image, again, of a uh, stone wall with some uh, landscape behind it. And uh, what we'll do is crank V up on the brightest lumen setting of about 50 ANSI lumens. So I turn it up just a little bit, and in person I can definitely see a nice improvement, and again, in the grass, and the details of the wall, that kind of thing. Now let me turn V up again, all the way up and it just improves the image and again hopefully it comes across on camera in person it's definitely a big difference and I'm gonna turn the brightness all the way down let me find another image for everybody One more landscape image. All right, so again, let me adjust my camera here. All right, so here we go. Again. again, we have some mountains, some trees, that kind of thing. Lowest lumen setting, about 30 lumens. V turned all the way down. Looks pretty good. You can definitely see the detail, but what we'll do here again is turn V up and we'll give you an idea what it looks so when you're ready I'm gonna crank it up and so there we added V and you can definitely see the differences in the detail here and what I will do is actually turn the brightness of the unit up from 30 to 50 anti lumens and it makes a huge difference And you can see all the details of the image. Very crisp, very clear. Again, this is 50 ANSI lumens at WVGA resolution of 854 by 480. And uh, this is a battery powered unit. So, hopefully, our demonstration of QuickLogic's V technology with this DLP higher lumen projector of about 50 ANSI lumens max at WVGA resolution gave you some appreciation for V technology in something other than the lower lumen projector that we've shown recently on PicoPros.com. This is a uh, couple of images from QuickLogic uh, directly showing the enhancement of different images using their V technology. Again, that's Visual Enhancement Engine. Really, this is the kind of thing you have to see in person to really appreciate. But these images alone, in addition to what we've shown you already, should hopefully give you an idea of what V technology can do for Pico projectors in general. And it's our stance at PicoPros.com that every Pico projector manufacturer really needs to take a look at the V technology from QuickLogic. Uh, for the cost, or the perceived cost, it really makes a, a, a very compelling impact to the quality of the image, both in perceived brightness, but also the readability or contrast of the images. Uh, 
So we're going to leave it there. Take a look at all our articles regarding Quick Logic because we've been following them for a long time. And this new technology, or new Topeka Projector Technology V, really is an exciting addition or complement to Pico Projection Technology. So if you have any questions or comments, please let us know in the comments section of this video or article. And uh, let us know what you think about V Technology and the promise of... Uh, you know the technology itself or any questions about quick logic we could pass them along uh, until next time we're going to leave it here this is paul with picopros.com we'll talk to you soon thanks